Hello everyone and my name is Trevor and this is my channel Trevor Doodles and I really hope you enjoy the things that I'm drawing for you right now and it's a beautiful evening here in Jacksonville Florida and I'm having a great time with my buddy Mark this is his place and I love the lights well hey everybody and in case you haven't noticed yet I have gotten myself a brand spanking new pen straight from Amazon of all places yeah uh, it just came in about two days ago it's uh, pretty yellow and I think it would look really good on the video as it does the only bad thing about this pen right now is I just filled it with ink and it is dropping ink like mad look at this it's, it looks so messy I I really wanted to start over again because the ink is just coming out in like big globs like all of a sudden and it's driving me nuts but like the super trooper that I am I have decided not I'm just gonna keep going with it you know these are problems that I can probably work with maybe if it doesn't get too crazy like it is right now it's like oh my god it's just like is it ever gonna stop I'm thinking it just keeps globbing out how can I make this work so right now I'm just drawing all kinds of whatever just to try to get the giant globs of ink all the way out so my pen is writing normal. So if you see my hand disappearing to the side, it's because I'm tapping a piece of paper trying to get all this ink to come out and go back to being a normal pen. But no such luck. It is still just dropping ink on the paper whenever it feels like it. Uh, see right here I'm tapping again and I'm looking at this thinking I'm just gonna start over again because I don't I don't hate it I just don't like this ink dropping out of my pen so note to the future Trevor um, do not store your fountain pens upside down in a container because all the ink ends up in the tip always store them with the tip facing up So what am I drawing now? I'm still just drawing random lines. Don't really have an idea in my head yet. But what I was thinking about here was on Easter Sunday, I'm having a picnic with some friends in the park. And my contribution to this picnic is I am found this really interesting recipe for grilled cheese sandwiches for adults. And it's a combination of things that sounds really strange, but I've bet it's going to taste really good. It's um, mozzarella cheese, basil, avocado, strawberry, and balsamic vinegar grilled cheese sandwich. That just sounds like the strangest combination, but I think it might be good. I'm going to try it. I'm going to make it for everybody. So that will be a fun Easter Sunday brunch picnic in the park. And right here, I'm starting to have like, I just want to draw some flowers. And I remembered a YouTube video called Japanimology. And in this particular 30 minute episode was all about cherry blossoms and how the Japanese just really adore their cherry blossoms like all over the place. And they did this interview with one woman in the park, and she had these lovely cherry blossom designs on her Komoto. And I'm trying to remember what it looked like, which is kind of what I'm trying to draw here. It's just an idea, and I like it. It's starting to work. So, what is happening in the news? Oh, yeah. Poor Notre Dame. I'm sure y'all saw that. Beautiful, beautiful church just burning to cinders. Oh, those poor people. I've never been there, but that day everybody was posting all their pictures and videos of the trips they made there, enjoying their little memories as this beautiful church burned to the ground. But on a happy note, the next day after it was all done and said and 
they, people went in the church with cameras and stuff and all the windows are fine which is the most important part because that's art and it's irreplaceable the stones are we can replace those and it's a stone they're not going to burn and the roof it's just wood they already have all the blueprints they can rebuild it it's not as big a deal as it looked when it was burning down nobody was hurt nobody lives there I don't think maybe a monk or two or that guy that lives up in the bell tower well anyways the French are quite resilient and I'm sure they will press on and rebuild their church okay, so right here this is where I'm like remembering more of the cherry blossoms on her Komoto that I thought were so pretty so I'm still once again trying to work that into this drawing which is actually right now it's kind of looks like a a lizard or some kind of spider thing I don't know it's it's a doodle and so far I think it looks really pretty I'm quite happy with it I will be giving this to a, a very dear friend of mine when it's done for his Easter present he's asked me several times for a drawing and this one is for you buddy love you um gosh anything else going on in the news the world of science of course we've all heard of, of the black hole the big big wonderful fuzzy smudge of an image <laughs> it's like that was anticlimactic watching that on the news it's like oh wait I can't wait to see this wonderful black hole I've seen it on CGI in so many movies and it looks so fantastic the real deal looks like a smudge on the lens I was sadly disappointed although I was impressed that you know they took a picture of a black hole galaxies away and all that stuff that was impressive the mathematics and I am looking forward to seeing the Nova episode on how they did it and how they managed to put all these telescopes together. I bet that's going to be a really good Nova. I really like Nova a lot. Um, but yeah, the black hole, anticlimactic. Where do we go from there? I don't know. What else is going on in the world? Well, I did read something interesting earlier this week. Um, what was it? I'll remember in just a second. Give me a second. Um, oh yeah. Stop trying to find yourself and create yourself instead. Which I thought was a very good caption and I opened it up and read it. And sure enough, there was some interesting advice. Um, for starters, how do you create yourself? Uh, I don't know. I use my imagination, I guess. I like to draw. Um, one of the tips in here was um, which methods and ways will you follow for creating the life that you want? Yeah, so I guess first I have to decide what kind of life I want if I don't already live it, which I think I already do. But if you don't, I guess you got to figure out what kind of life you want and then figure out what methods you're going to use to travel on to get there. Are you going to use a car? Are you going to go to school? Are you going to take a Uber? How are you going to get to the life that you want? I thought it was really interesting. And it, the article goes on and on and on like with the who, what, where, when, and why. But all those got really esoteric. The only one I really liked was how are you going to get there? You got an idea in your head of what kind of life you want for yourself. How are you going to get there? It doesn't just happen by itself. Which I really, really liked. So that was all the stuff I read so far. I didn't read a whole lot this week. I've been busy enjoying friends and doing stuff. So I hope you guys really have a good Easter. I usually have brunch. I already told you about the brunch I'm planning. It should be quite lovely. It'll be a sunny day out here in Jacksonville, Florida. So about here in this little doodle of mine I'm starting to think it looks a little like um, some weird Japanese flying dragon. You know, those things I like to worship and stuff and have parades for. But, you know, not quite as detailed, just weird. So I tried to give it some legs and that looked a little weird. So 
so now I'm working on some more legs which are actually just more flowers because I don't really like drawing feet I don't want to be so literal with this I'm it's supposed to look kind of like something but not actually be a thing it can be whatever you want to be I mean there are parts of it that look like a guitar I don't know just kind of making it up as I go along while at the same time balancing everything out while at the same time my pen actually dripped drops here and there on the paper so I'm also trying to include those drops in a line which I just did right here a little earlier and there's another drop up there I'm sure you can see it a little black spot of ink that I'm going to I have to draw there it's there I have to use it I have to make it work so that is also dictating where I put things and how I put things so yeah these are kind of more like tail feet feathers I guess for this weird Japanese flying dragon see and boom there I did it I covered that spot up stupid drippy ink pen but at least right now at this point the pen is working like a proper pen and I can do finer lines without worrying about a big throw up of ink all over the paper that was really annoying I won't I won't be doing that mistake again but live and learn that's what it's all about oh uh, I really did enjoy doing this I hadn't really drawn anything except for the last one which was kind of uh don't drink and draw <laughs> obey the law don't drink and draw it, it doesn't work I thought it would be kind of cool to have a couple of glasses of wine and then draw nope you really you really can't think it doesn't flow out of you like you think it should this is it's much better doing it sober and complete peace and quiet not a sound everybody's out of the house I'm home alone it's early in the morning just gonna get this done and it's very enjoyable it's very relaxing especially when you first get up out of bed to just start doodling and making something it was better than coffee which I hadn't had yet I just woke up and had a thought I was like, I'm gonna draw something right now before I do anything else it was a great way to wake up a good way to start your day is a drawing in your cup <laughs> uh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it oh and an idea that I'm remembering right now from um, stop trying to find yourself and create yourself instead one of the other points was the what part of it which is more about visualizing yourself at the end of in the life that you're trying to create spend time visualizing yourself in that so you have a clear idea of what it is you actually want which will help you get there which was also a good thing I don't do a lot of visualizing of stuff way into the future I don't know I think I'm pretty happy right now my life is pretty good um, right here. I, I think I'm trying to draw smoke coming out of this dragon's nose but I wasn't thinking of it at the time, but now that I'm watching myself draw it, I think that's what I might have been thinking subconsciously. Because it really kind of looks like a dragon to me. And I think it's... It came out quite lovely. And look at that. And now I'm just trying to balance some stuff. It looked like I needed something heavier here, because it looked like it was starting to, like, kind of float up into the top part of the page. And I wanted to, like, anchor it down a little bit more with something weighty which I did. I just added some color. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing it. Oh, that's so pretty. I really, really like that. I really hope my friend likes it. I think he will. So, that's it. You guys have a good day. Love yous. Well, thank you everybody for watching and I really hope you enjoyed what I did. And... I'm going to have a couple of other drinks tonight, and <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it, and I love you guys, and I will see you again.